Welcome to AI Talking Head. Did you know that the KJ-600, China's newest airborne early warning and control AEW&C aircraft, is a stealthy bird? That's right. Despite its large size and radar cross-section, the KJ-600 incorporates advanced stealth features in its design. This makes it a formidable asset in modern naval warfare, where the first to detect and target often holds the upper hand. With its advanced radar and sensor suite, the KJ-600 can provide early warning of incoming threats, coordinate multiple aircraft and ships, and even direct precision strikes against enemy targets. The KJ-600 is a game-changer for the Chinese military, giving them a significant advantage in the highly contested South China Sea region. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. The KJ-600 is an impressive display of China's growing military capabilities and their focus on developing cutting-edge technology. This AEW&C aircraft is based on the proven Y-9 transport plane but with a host of enhancements that make it a truly modern warfare platform. One of its most notable features is the Advanced Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar system, which provides 360-degree coverage and can track hundreds of targets simultaneously. This radar is housed in a distinctive rotating dome above the fuselage, giving the KJ-600 its unique look. But the KJ-600 is more than just a surveillance platform. With its advanced data fusion and command and control capabilities, it serves as a mobile command center, coordinating complex military operations. It can direct fighter jets, provide targeting data for missile launches, and even assist in air-to-air -air refueling. The KJ-600's integration with other assets like drones and naval vessels showcases China's pursuit of a networked, multi-domain warfare strategy. China has recently unveiled its latest airborne early warning and control AEW&C, platform, the KJ-600, specifically designed for carrier-based operations. This cutting-edge aircraft represents a significant enhancement to the country's maritime surveillance capabilities, particularly in the contested South China Sea region. With its advanced technology and capabilities, the KJ-600 is set to become a pivotal asset in China's naval warfare strategy. The KJ-600 is an impressive airborne surveillance solution, featuring a state-of-the-art active electronically scanned array radar system. This radar provides the aircraft with a powerful capability to detect, track, and identify potential threats at long ranges, giving the Chinese Navy a significant advantage in maritime domain awareness. Mounted on a specially designed carrier-borne aircraft, the KJ-600 can provide uninterrupted surveillance, ensuring that the fleet has an uninterrupted picture of its surroundings. One of the key advantages of the KJ-600 is its ability to extend the operational reach of China's aircraft carriers. As a carrier-based AEW&C platform, it can provide early warning and control functions far beyond the horizon, enabling the fleet to detect and respond to potential threats much sooner. This extended surveillance range enhances the overall situational awareness, allowing for more informed tactical decisions and a stronger defensive posture. Naval forces operating in contested waters face significant challenges when it comes to surveillance and reconnaissance. The complex and often hostile environment demands constant situational awareness and the ability to gather intelligence swiftly and discreetly. Here are some critical challenges that naval forces encounter in these scenarios. 1. Denied or degraded sensors. In contested waters, enemy forces may employ advanced technologies and tactics to disrupt or degrade the effectiveness of naval sensors. Electronic warfare EU, techniques, such as radar jamming and deception, can limit the ability of radars and other sensors to detect and track targets. Adversaries may also use stealth technologies, making their assets harder to detect, further complicating the surveillance picture. 2. Geographic challenges. The very nature of maritime environments presents obstacles to effective surveillance. The vastness of the oceans and the presence of geographical features like islands, archipelagos, and coastal areas provide multiple hiding places and complicate sensor coverage. Navigating through these areas while maintaining continuous surveillance and avoiding potential ambushes is a complex task. 
3. Subsurface Threats Submarines and underwater drones pose significant threats that are difficult to detect and track. Advanced submarine designs, quieting technologies, and the use of underwater terrain for concealment make surveillance against subsurface assets extremely challenging. Detecting and tracking these threats requires specialized equipment, such as sonar systems and magnetic anomaly detectors, coupled with sophisticated data analysis techniques. 4. Aerial Surveillance Challenges Aerial surveillance in contested waters is fraught with risks. Adversaries may have robust air defense systems, including long-range radars and surface-to-air missile batteries, limiting the freedom of movement for surveillance aircraft. Unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, have become valuable assets in such scenarios, providing persistent surveillance while reducing the risk to manned aircraft. 5. Cyber and Electronic Warfare The modern battlefield extends into the digital domain, with cyber attacks and electronic warfare tactics posing additional challenges. Adversaries may target data links, communications, and sensor networks, disrupting the flow of information and degrading situational awareness. Naval forces must ensure the resilience and security of their digital systems to maintain operational effectiveness. 6. Environmental Conditions The dynamic and unpredictable nature of the maritime environment adds further complexity. Varying weather conditions, including high winds, rain, and sea states, can impact sensor performance and the detection range of radars and optical systems. Naval forces must adapt their surveillance tactics to account for these environmental factors. To overcome these challenges, naval forces employ a combination of advanced technologies, including multi-spectral sensors, data fusion, and network systems. They also leverage unmanned systems, such as UAVs and unmanned underwater vehicles UUVs, to enhance their surveillance capabilities while reducing risks to personnel. Advanced data analysis techniques, including artificial intelligence and machine learning, are being leveraged to process and interpret the vast amounts of sensor data collected, enabling faster and more informed decision-making in contested waters. The KJ-600 is China's cutting-edge airborne early warning and control AEWC, aircraft, designed to enhance the country's maritime surveillance capabilities. Here is an in-depth exploration of its key features, specifications, design characteristics, and how it compares to other surveillance aircraft, features and specifications. Aircraft Platform The KJ-600 is based on the proven airframe of the Y-9 transport plane, which provides a robust and reliable platform for the AEWC role. It has a length of approximately 26 to 30 meters, a wingspan of over 40 meters, and a reported maximum takeoff weight of around 77,000 kg. Radar and Sensor Suite The heart of the KJ-600's capabilities lies in its advanced radar and sensor systems. It features a powerful active electronically scanned array AESA, radar mounted in a distinctive rotating dome above the fuselage. This radar provides 360-degree coverage, enabling the detection, tracking, and identification of multiple targets, including aircraft, ships, and missiles. The AESA radar offers superior sensitivity and resistance to jamming compared to conventional radars. Surveillance and Tracking The KJ-600 can detect and track hundreds of targets simultaneously within its radar coverage area. It provides early warning of incoming threats, allowing for rapid response and engagement. The aircraft's sensors can also gather intelligence, including Electronic Signals Intelligence ELINT, and Communications Intelligence COMINT, enhancing the overall situational awareness for naval forces. Command and Control One of the KJ-600's key roles is to serve as a command and control node in complex military operations. It can coordinate multiple assets, including fighter jets, ships, and submarines, providing real-time tactical data and directions. The aircraft has advanced data fusion capabilities, enabling it to process and disseminate information from various sensors and sources. Data Links and Communications The KJ-600 is equipped with secure and robust data links to transmit and receive information in real time. These data links facilitate seamless communication with other aircraft, ships, and command centers, ensuring a common operational picture. Secure communication systems also enable the exchange of sensitive information during missions. Design and Technology Stealth Considerations 
While not a full-fledged stealth aircraft, the KJ-600 incorporates certain stealth features in its design. The shape of the fuselage and the placement of the radar dome are optimized to reduce its radar cross-section, making it harder for enemy radars to detect and track. Rotating Radar Dome The most distinctive feature of the KJ-600 is its rotating radar dome, which houses the AESA radar. This dome rotates to provide a full 360-degree field of view, ensuring continuous surveillance and tracking. The rotation mechanism is designed for smooth and seamless operation, even during the aircraft's maneuvers. Mission Crew and Workstations The KJ-600 typically accommodates a crew of 5 to 7 personnel, including pilots and mission specialists. The mission crew operates from a suite of advanced workstations, where they can monitor radar data, sensor feeds, and tactical information. These workstations are designed for ergonomic efficiency, enabling the crew to make timely and informed decisions. Comparison to other surveillance aircraft, AEW and C aircraft, compared to other AEW and C aircraft, such as the E-2 Hawkeye or the Russian Berea A-50, the KJ-600 offers similar capabilities in terms of surveillance, early warning, and command and control. However, the KJ-600 benefits from its more modern AESA radar system, providing improved sensitivity and resistance to jamming. Bombardier Global Eye The Global Eye, a more modern AEW and C platform, offers extended range and endurance, as well as a more comprehensive sensor suite that includes AESA radar, electro-optical, infrared sensors, and signals intelligence capabilities. Boeing P-8 Poseidon The P-8 Poseidon is a dedicated maritime patrol aircraft with advanced anti-submarine warfare capabilities. While the P-8 the of May have an edge in anti-submarine warfare, the KJ-600 focuses more on airborne early warning and command and control functions. The development and deployment of China's KJ-600 have indeed been a game-changer for the country's naval strategy, particularly in the South China Sea. One key moment that showcased the KJ-600's impact was during a series of naval exercises conducted by the Chinese Navy in the disputed waters of the South China Sea in 2021. These exercises involved a large-scale deployment of naval assets, including aircraft carriers, submarines, and the KJ-600 AEW and C platform. During these exercises, the KJ-600 played a pivotal role in coordinating the complex maneuvers and enhancing the plan's overall situational awareness. Here's how the KJ-600's presence made a significant impact. 1. Enhanced Early Warning and Detection The KJ-600, with its advanced active electronically scanned array AESA, radar system, provided an unprecedented level of early warning and detection capabilities. Its 360-degree radar coverage allowed the Chinese Navy to detect and track incoming threats, such as enemy aircraft or anti-ship missiles, at much longer ranges than before. This extended detection range gave the naval forces crucial extra time to assess threats and devise appropriate responses. 2. Command and Control The KJ-600 functioned as a mobile command and control node, coordinating the various assets involved in the exercises. It facilitated secure and seamless communication between aircraft, ships, and submarines, enabling better fleet-wide situational awareness. The KJ-600's data fusion capabilities allowed for the real-time integration and analysis of information from multiple sensors, providing a comprehensive tactical picture to commanders. 3. Force Multiplication The presence of the KJ-600 effectively multiplied the Chinese Navy's force projection capabilities. With its ability to direct and coordinate multiple assets simultaneously, the KJ-600 enhanced the efficiency and effectiveness of the naval exercises. It enabled the optimization of force deployment, ensuring that the right assets were in the right places at the right time. This level of coordination improved the overall agility and responsiveness of the plan during the drills. 4. Anti-Access Area Denial A2, AD, Challenges the South China Sea is a highly contested region, with multiple claimants and the presence of foreign military assets. The KJ-600's deployment demonstrated China's ability to overcome the challenges posed by potential anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, strategies employed by rival forces. 
The KJ-600's extended detection range and command and control capabilities contributed to a more robust and resilient naval posture for China in the region. 5. Power Projection The successful integration and employment of the KJ-600 during these exercises sent a clear message to the international community about China's growing military capabilities and its determination to assert its influence in the South China Sea. The KJ-600, as a symbol of China's technological advancement, showcased the country's commitment to protecting its maritime interests and expanding its power projection capabilities. The naval exercises in the South China Sea highlighted the KJ-600's pivotal role in enhancing the Chinese Navy's operational effectiveness and strategic reach. Its impact extended beyond mere surveillance and early warning, contributing to a more networked and coordinated naval force. The KJ-600's deployment marked a significant step forward in China's naval strategy, underscoring the country's ambition to become a dominant maritime power in the region and beyond. The KJ-600 is a significant addition to modern naval forces, providing enhanced situational awareness, command and control capabilities, and force multiplication. Its impact on military strategy is evident in the improved coordination, responsiveness, and power projection of naval assets. As the KJ-600 evolves and influences future naval warfare, it will likely drive advancements in sensor technologies, networked warfare, and the ongoing pursuit of dominance in contested waters. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's naval technology advancements. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy this episode. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like and share our video. We will bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.